and amongst the signs of the Almighty is your sleep by day and your sleep by night yes Allah speak of sleep by day and sleep by night I, I, I just seen a documentary on insomnia the other day and insomnia is a growing condition so there was this Oxford uh, graduate he said yeah okay look, translating the ayah Allah says we've blessed you with sleep by day and sleep by night and going out to earn your sustenance Allah says I have favored you with sleep so how can you tell someone don't waste your life and don't sleep sleep is a benefit it's a bounty Allah says I have favored you with sleep by day so sleeping per se is not wrong Allah says I have made for you to go and earn in the day and Allah has magnified it as a bounty yes the qualifying statement is don't oversleep don't overwork so here's the article and the findings and so the article says that research has proven and he writes so beautifully nappiness not happiness nappiness brings happiness you take a nap nappiness brings happiness so the findings are if you sleep daily at midday for 20 minutes siesta then people like that are very productive in the day and they can achieve and accomplish much more and that's obvious we know midday on the hot day in ramadan if you just have a you know what a power nap or 40 wings or you just snooze or you doze off and then you get up so rejuvenated and the latter part of the day becomes easy so it's nothing so scientific we all can relate to it but the article goes on to say if you sleep for more than 30 minutes then the sleep becomes counterproductive and you end up being more lame and lethargic compared to your counterparts who did not sleep at all so what's the point moderation my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam taking a Kailula or midday nap is highly encouraged it is well documented Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but it is a practice that has become less common as our days have become filled with the activities of modern life we became too busy and we even left the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but the modern science is saying if you take a nap during the day just a short nap your productivity will increase more than those who didn't take a nap so practice Sunnah Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will open doors for you Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will make you a successful person the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are scientific it's good mentally physically and spiritually so let's follow the sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the science is yet to discover the benefits of the sunnah of prophet muhammad and many sunnah they have already found out that it has health benefits when you practice the sunnah of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah give us the ability to follow his sunnah and may allah forgive our shortcomings may allah grant us jannatul firdaus alayla Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description.